Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you are new. I'm Stacy, and we are going to be unboxing this month's brand spanking new Pelica Pack box. It came today in the mail and I didn't want to wait, so here we are. Sharp implement. We're going to zip this bad baby open. It's, it's not as weighty as last time's, but it's pretty heavy still. Okay, and here we go. Let's see what's inside. Oh, oh, that's a nice color. I like this color. This yellow gold color, that's very pretty. It's very autumn. I'm, I'm saving these and giving them to my sister. She uses them in her craft projects. Uh, oh, oh, nice, Holbein gouache. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, this is acrylic gouache too. I haven't used acrylic gouache. Five colors. Oh, we're gonna need our sharp end. What are we? Yep. Let's let's pop this open. Let's see what we got. A bit of plastic. Back. Open our little box up. Okay. It's a Christmas morning, you can't open it fast enough. Nice, okay. We have carmine red, lemon yellow, sky blue, jet black, and titanium white. So your basic colors for mixing. That'll be fun. They come in this cute little box for storing, which will be nice. And then we have a teensy um, stone hedge watercolor paper. Um, well, maybe not watercolor paper. Handcrafted with the watercolors in mind, this rugged textured substrate is our latest creation in artisan paper. Each cold press sheet naturally receives applied pressure, making it ideal for blending and lifting color. This is Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press. Oh, well, we will give you a run for your money. Ooh, I have tons of these. These are fun erasers to have. A little kneaded eraser. I have, this is, all right, this is what they look like when you use them. They get all grungy and gray and they're, you squeeze them to, to get the clean. And this is what they look like when they're brand spanking new. <laughs> we'll set that aside. I'm probably not gonna open that right away. And we have a little palette. Can't have too many of these, right? I use these up quite rapidly. Yeah, just a little all art alternatives six well palette. Handy dandy. And then we have a uh, Derwent Graphic B pencil. Never have too many drawing pencils either, in my opinion. I like to have three or four that I'm whittling down to nothing. Ooh, this is hefty. And Expressions Robert Simmons E57 Angle Shader, um, fourth inch, one fourth inch. It, it's a it's a thick brush. Like this is the handle of most of my brushes. Not shiny, but slim, and d tapered down. And this one is it feels good in the hand. Beefy, like a thick pencil. And we have our angle tip which is handy i don't use an an angle or a flat brush often i usually use a round watercolor brush because watercolor is my medium Ooh, ooh, that's soft a little sticky stuff on there it's okay we'll put it in the garbage this is a princeton select flat wash three quarter inch very nice. I do like the Princeton brushes, they're favorites. And then, what else do we have? Let's move these guys out of the way. Stay, stay, stay. Oops. And we have, ooh, get everybody. Okay, we're gonna put this back down here. This is heavy. <laughs> oh, watercolor boards. Fun. Oh, how fun is that? That's 
I haven't used... Oh yes, I have the Crescent Full Drawing Boards I got in a previous box. I don't think I've gotten the watercolor boards before. I'm just popping them all out. Smooth, smooth, slightly textured. What do we got? Extra heavy white boards. Look at that density. You get three 8x10 boards. 100% rag, lightly textured, cold press surface, pre-mounted watercolor board. Easy portability, perfect for plain air. pH neutral. Number 114 watercolor board. Interesting. Okay. And we get three of them to play on, so I get to make three pieces at some point. But for now, that density. Can I get it to focus? Can you focus, please? Focus. There we go. That's a nice, nice thick piece of board. All right. I'm excited. Now i got to figure out what we're going to paint with wash. I don't very often paint with wash. Let's close this guy up. Excuse me. Excuse me. And I don't roll anything. I'm going to sit right there. I think we're going to use the little pad of Legion um, paper to swatch our stuff on. Pull, pull a couple of pieces off. Set that aside. Pop this open. Come on. Now, from what I understand, these work a lot like acrylic paints in that. Oh, once they dry, they're not re-wettable, which is why you might want a plastic or glass palette or um, enamel to peel the paint off once it once it dries on. Um, plastic will stain, though, over time. Some of these cheaper ones stain pretty readily. Do I want to? Yeah, I guess we can. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a little dollop. Like that. Here's our black. Grab the flat brush. I can't get over how beefy that is. Wet it with a little bit of water from my cup. It goes down really nice. From, from what I gather, once it's dry, and I'll show you once this dries, it's, um, you can't re-wet it and lift it up, or you're going to be, um, putting on your color. The perk is you can paint over the top of it without too much fuss. I think the black was there. There we go. This is titanium white. Make sure my brush is doing clear. Go from black to white. There's my titanium white. Put a good swatch down so you can see what it looks like once it's dry. See what I mean by you can paint over? It wasn't quite dry, so it's kind of. Ooh, that's a nice gray though. Okay. We'll let that dry. Let's see what our sky blue looks like. Ooh, it's a little cerulean. Okay. And our sky blue. Let me turn this this way and paint up. It's a very gem-like color. It's quite pretty. We could get some really nice mixes with these, I would imagine. A dot of yellow, a dot of, dot of yellow, and a dot of cat carmine. Ooh, vibrant. Oh, these are super vibrant colors. 
I think they're canes. Those are carmine. I'm interested to see what it looks like next week. Really? Let's get more of this blue. Let's get more blue. Let's get more blue. Some water. Spread it around. Kind of makes Let's focus on what I want you to focus on. There we go. It's kind of a super dark purpley color. Maybe if we mix some white in it, we could get some decent lavenders. Maybe. It's very dark. No, oh, my light's too bright. Hold on. Turn down. It's just gauche. That's better. It's less harsh. Let's see what our yellow looks like spread out. Blue everywhere. There we go. Nice clean brush. Spread out our super vibrant neon yellow. And I let it sit there too long, so I've got a little circle where it dried on the outside edge. A little water. Ooh, it looks nice green. I'm getting the textures too. I've been playing a little bit with um, watercolor, uh, using it a little thicker because I have um, M gram watercolors and you can use them a little thick like this if you want to and um, get a little bit of texture going on, which is so nice. Um, most of my pieces are mixed media, so it's going to be hard to not um, go crazy with the mixed media. Although, let's see. Let me turn the computer on here real quick. One second while I turn the computer on. Okay guys, so the prompt word for, well, the fifth several, the several prompt words for this box are um, fantasy, dinner, library, and cottage. I didn't like any of them. Fantasy kind of struck a chord with me and I really feel like drawing um, animals. So we're going to draw, attempt to paint this turtle in space. He's like a space turtle because we can, because fantasy, that's why. I also grabbed out some paper towels to go with all of our supplies. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and put out some colors. Let's do let's put out some black. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm gonna need because I haven't used gouache or acrylic based anything in years. Because acrylic and I usually don't get along all that well. Blue here and some yellow and we'll put out some red or carmine yellow sky blue carmine jet black and white and we'll just see what happens okay first thing i'm gonna do is the background because it feels right i'm gonna make I don't know what I want to do. Um, I'm going to go in like I normally would with the watercolor because you can use gouache like as a watercolor.
All right, I'm gonna leave it alone and come back to it tomorrow and see what I think. I may not put this video off. <laughs> but for right now, I'm digging it on the camera. Uh, the, the face could use a little more detailing, but I feel like if I do, I'm going to ruin the effect of the piece. Because it's supposed to be a fantasy space scene. And I got paint absolutely everywhere, which is always a good goal. Okay, guys, this is the finished piece. And these are all our supplies that came in the box, minus the water. I'm going to scooch up just a touch so you can see everything. We got our, our boards, which I painted this guy on. And I honestly didn't like him when I went to bed last night, but after seeing him today, I'm kind of digging it. Um, you know, that always good to take a step away from your piece and uh, assess later, especially if you're thinking you don't like it. Um, but I really enjoyed this box. I don't normally enjoy acrylic anything. This was a lot of fun, and I kind of really dig how it turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!